Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we shall learn three ways of identifying a first order homogeneous ordinary differential equation. Number one method. An ordinary differential equation you know, shall be called homogeneous if every term of that ODE has the same degree. For example, let us consider the following ODE. We have 2xy squared minus x cubed in bracket, the y plus y cubed minus 2yx squared in bracket, the x equal to 0. This indeed is a first order ODE. But we want to now check if this ODE is indeed homogeneous or not. <clears throat> so, for the first term, 2xy squared, we want to check the degree. For the first term, x here has a degree of 1, y here has a degree of 2. So the total degree here, the sum of degrees here, is 3. So the first term has degree 3. The second term, x cubed, degree there is 3. The third term, y cubed, degree is 3. And the, and the last term, 2 minus 2 y x squared. y has a degree of 1, and x has what? Power of 2, or degree of 2. So the sum of powers here, or degree here, again, is 3. So what do we observe? There are four terms, you know, of this first order ODE. Term 1, term 2, term 3, and term 4. And each of the term is of degree 3. Once you are able to spot, you know, this in a differential equation, that equation is already what? Homogeneous. It's already homogeneous. So let's look at the second example. We have y squared minus xy in bracket dx plus x dy equal to 0. Let us check again if this ODE is homogeneous. The degree of the first term is 2. The second term, x is 1, y is 1. Degree there is 2. And the last term, x is 1, degree is 1. So the first two terms have degree of 2. And the last term has degree of 1. So the degrees are not the same. Hence, the equation given to us here in number 2 is not homogeneous. Another method of checking if an ODE is homogeneous or not is the following. Consider the differential equation dy over dx, which is some function of x and y. If we introduce another variable, say alpha, into this right-hand side, and we have f of alpha x, comma, alpha y. If we are able to, to write this as alpha raised to the power n of f of x, y, where n here stands for any number including 0, then we shall see that the differential equation given to us is homogeneous. What we do here is we introduce a variable into the right hand side of the ODE, say alpha, and if we are able to factorize alpha to the power n out in this form, then the equation in question must be homogeneous. We'll take an example to illustrate better. Example, we have dy over dx equal to the square root of x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed, you know, times y. Here, the right hand side f of xy is equal to the square root of x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed, you know, times y. So we introduce a variable alpha, alpha x, alpha y, into the right hand side and we get the square root of, there is x here, we introduce alpha there, to the power 4 minus 2, there is an error x here, we introduce alpha again, cubed, and there is a y here, we introduce alpha again times y. So we try to open up the bracket and simplify. So this gives us, if we open up the first bracket, we get alpha to the power 4, x to the power 4, minus 2. This gives us alpha cubed, x cubed, times alpha y. So this gives us the square root of alpha to the power 4, x to the power 4, minus 2. Alpha cubed times alpha is alpha to the power 4, times y. So, alpha to the power 4 is common, so we can factorize, and that gives us the square root of alpha to the power 4 into x to the power 4 minus 2y. Minus 2x cubed y, there's an x cubed here, 2x cubed y. So, by using sorts, we can separate this to have the square root of alpha to the power 4 times the square root of x to the power 4 minus 2 x cubed times y. The square root of x of alpha to the power 4 is nothing but what? Alpha squared. 
times the square root of x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed times y. We observe that what we have here is alpha squared times some function times the function f of x, y. Since f of x, y was square root, of, square root of x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed times y. And now we have that alpha squared times that function which we were given. So we have been able to, to write f of alpha x alpha y as alpha to the power 2 you know, times f of x y. So we, so we say that the given ODE is homogeneous of degree 2. Come problem. So here we have dy over dx equal x to the power 3 minus y squared. So here f of x y is x to the power 3 minus y squared. We want to check if the ODE is homogeneous or not. So we introduce a variable alpha x and then alpha times y equal. So if we put alpha here, we have alpha x cubed minus here we have alpha y squared. So we open up, we have alpha cubed x cubed minus alpha squared y squared. If we factorize, alpha squared is common. What will be left here in the first term is alpha x cubed minus y squared. Yes, we have alpha alpha squared out here. But what we have here is not the function f of x, y. Because f of x, y is x cubed minus y squared. And what we have here is alpha x cubed minus y squared. So it's not the same thing as f of x, y. Since f of alpha x, alpha y has not yielded alpha to the power n times f of x, y, we conclude that the given first order ODE here is not a homogeneous first order ordinary differential equation. The third way of checking if a given first order ODE is homogeneous or not is if the right hand side of the ODE can be written as some function of y over x. Some function of y over x. So if we are able to express the right hand side of such you know an ODE as this, then we we'll conclude that that ODE is indeed homogeneous. Let us take an example. So we have dy over dx equal x squared plus y squared divided by xy. So we want to see if we can express this right hand side as some function of y over x. So if we, if we split this into two, we get x squared over xy plus y squared over xy. So that we now have x over y plus y over x. The second term is in the form we want, y over x, but the first term is x over y. So we can write the first term as y over x to the power minus 1. So that this becomes x over y plus y over x, the second term. So what do we see here? We have been able to write the right-hand side of the given first order ODE as some function of what? y over x. So we conclude that the given first order ODE indeed is a homogeneous first order ODE. The second problem, dy over dx equal x squared minus y. Let us see if we can write the right hand side of this you know, first order ODE as some function of y over x. So if we divide through, we have x squared minus y. If we divide through by x, we get x minus y over x. The second term has been expressed as y over x, but the first term cannot be expressed as such. Hence, the given first order ODE is not a homogeneous first order ordinary differential equation. The question now is this. How then do we solve a first order ordinary differential equation having verified that the equation given to us is homogeneous? To solve such an equation, we make the following substitutions. We say let v equal to y over x. In which case, it means that y is equal to vx. If we differentiate this, you know, using product rule, we have that dy over dx is equal to keep v, differentiate x, we have 1, plus you keep x, constant, differentiate v, is a function of v, dv over dx. So, to solve any first order ODE that is homogeneous, we make these substitutions. In our next video, we shall solve an example using this method. 
So I recommend that you please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already and kindly leave a like and comment on this video. Thank you and bye-bye.